Hey everybody, Ryan here. As I told you before in a couple other videos before this, um, like during my Halloween videos that didn't last very long, but um, I had a lot of stuff going on as I said in those videos, and so I wasn't able to finish them in enough time for Halloween. My sister-in-law just got married and I was running music at the wedding. That was really busy. I was doing a few video projects for my church since I told you before I work for my church and their school. And one of the things I do for the church is I'm in charge of all the media production and stuff of the church. And so I was doing a lot of um, videos for them and I got kind of backed up and so I couldn't really, I had to spend all my spare time editing other videos for the church. And so I'm back and so I'm starting fresh and I'm very sorry I didn't get to finish us Halloween videos, but um, I'm, I'm back. And my goal is to make um, about three videos, hopefully a week including my um, around you know around the town vlogs because my camera that I have right here for that um, I just got the new sim card for it to go in it or memory card and so I have a lot of room so I could, I could finally start doing that but I'm gonna go ahead and start um, this series which is gonna be my main series for a while um, in addition to my updates and my analysis, I'm going to be doing this. And this is me going over my, it's kind of a countdown of my top 50 favorite movies. I've been compiling this list for probably about three weeks now, and I got it down. And so I'm just going to take each video and do five off my countdown until I get, I'm going to start from 50 and work my way down all the way to one. So um, I hope you guys will enjoy this. And I was trying to think of some, the reason this came about is I was trying to think of some videos to do. And I was like, you know what? I can't think of, you know, videos that will include all my favorite films, you know, um, right offhand. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to throw all of them together in a list and I'm going to start doing a series on that. And that's what I'm doing. And so let's go ahead and start with number 50. And it is Martin Scorsese's. Shutter Island. Um, I loved the book. When the book came out, I loved it. It was one of my, it's one of my favorite books, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Then I found out that Martin Scorsese was making the movie of it, and so I was really looking forward to seeing it. And I finally saw it, and I was incredibly blown away. And for those of you guys who don't know, it's about a marshal played by Leonardo DiCaprio. And he's investigating a murder or a missing person in this, um, I guess you could say, a sane asylum that's on this island called Shutter Island. It's very mysterious, very twisting, very atmospheric. Great film, great um, atmosphere that he gave. And the music reminds me of Bernard Herrmann. You know, like the Vertigo days, Taxi Driver. There's a very, there's a powerful... Um, you know, brass section for this film, and it's like really deep. It really gets you right in, under your skin, and it's such a great score. And it was definitely one of my favorite movies that came out last year, and it is now one of my favorite all time movies. And I watch it at least once a month. I love it. And Leonardo DiCaprio is one of my favorite actors, he's um, very intense in everything he does. He's just a fascinating actor. I've liked him ever since, you know, growing up watching Growing Pains. And so I've always thought he was a great actor, and he just keeps getting better and better. So, number 50, Shutter Island. Number 49 is The Exorcist. And this has been one of my favorite films for a long time. Not just because, I mean, it is a horror film, it's considered a horror film, but it's really such a great psychological thriller and ride. Um, for those of you who don't know, it's about a girl who starts showing symptoms of, kind of you know, like not split personalities, but yeah, you know, some, she went from being a really nice girl to having a lot of temper tantrums and stuff. And eventually down the road, you know, you know, they start thinking, well, maybe this is some kind of demon, maybe, you know, and so, um, I don't want to give, if you haven't seen this, I don't want to give any more away, but I don't want you guys to think, if you guys are saying, oh, I don't want to watch that it's a horror film, 
it's really not a horror, I mean, it's considered a horror film, but it's not, it's a psychological thriller. It's kind of like Silence of the Lambs to me. It's considered a horror film by a lot of people, but it's more of a detective mystery. This is a psych psychological thriller. There's not really any on-screen deaths, per se, until like the end of the movie. But it's not, you know, slasher type stuff. I mean, it's not like the exorcism type movies that come out now. I think this is far superior, great drama, powerful acting. Definitely need to check this out if you haven't seen it. So this is number 49, The Exorcist. Alright, this is number 48. And number 48, it goes to this version of the film. And it's Das Boat, and it is the original uncut version. I love the director's cut, that's you know, about four hours long. But this is the original... I think it's a five and a half hour mini German miniseries. Wolfgang Peterson, for those of you guys who've never seen this, it's a German perspective of, you know, the submarine, you know, battles and you know in World War II. But it all takes place in the sub, except for the beginning and the end of the movie. And it's a very claustrophobic feeling. You really get a, a sense that you're a part of the ship or part of the submarine. U-boat, I mean, and it's such a great film in showing how, you know, people deal with the claustrophobia and, you know, cabin fever, especially when it's in a war setting, and it's just, it's brilliant, it's a brilliant film, and I love the other versions of it too, but this main um, uncut version is the one that I actually consider one of my all-time favorite films, so definitely check this out. They have, the, I don't have this version on Blu-ray yet. If they ever do, I'll get it. But I have no interest in getting the director's cut on Blu-ray. I'll just keep this until this comes out, if it ever comes out. So, definitely need to check this out. The next one is by one of my all-time favorite directors, and it's Psycho by Alfred Hitchcock. And for those of you who don't know, it's about a woman who basically um, takes money from her work and goes on the run and she's planning on using it to help pay off her boyfriend's debt so he could, you know, marry her and all this stuff. And on her way there, or on, on her way out of town, she stops at, a, you know, the Bates Motel, and you guys know the story from there. And so definitely need to check this out. This Blu-ray of it is extremely awesome. Crisp picture. It still has a level of grain in it, which I love. I love film grain, especially when it was meant to be like that great special features, a highly interactive menu. Um, I just think it's a brilliant film. And, I mean, this is another one of those movies that I think gets more of a rep or a rap for being a horror movie when, you know, it's just an awesome thriller, you know? And so if you don't like horror movies, don't get turned off by this because you think it's a horror movie. Check it out. It is amazing. There we go. Psycho. And the last one for today is number 46, and that is Laurence Olivier's Hamlet by William Shakespeare. Brilliant film, very psychological, very uh, thrilling. And the reason why I like it so much is because it kind of shows the unraveling of a man who's dealing with a lot of issues. And it reminds me of Taxi Driver in a lot of ways, that kind of style of, um, you know, character portraits. And it's just such a great film. And if, you don't like Shakespeare, then you probably won't like this because it's spoken in Shakespearean language. They don't, you know, try to li liquefy it into regular speaking. But, I mean, come on, it's Hamlet. It's awesome. And this is Criterion Collection. Maybe one day they'll release this version, the Criterion will release this on Blu-ray. I am really hope so because this film needs a little bit more restoration and definitely needs a Blu-ray treatment. Alright guys. Probably tomorrow or the next day, you'll see the next installment. And so, um, hope you guys are enjoying my videos. And don't worry, I'm back for good. And so, remember, there's three ways of doing things. The right way, the wrong way, and the chat way. Stay positive, guys.